Hi, I'm Paul the Happy Gilder. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of fire marbling. Now, it's quite an easy process and you only need a couple of things. Um, firstly, is some alcohol inks, cigarette lighter and a fire extinguisher just in case. So, I've prepped this panel here. This has just been sandblasted and left some of the mirror coating on. If you want to know how to do this, I've covered this in a previous video, which is how to make a custom mirror. And I'll put a link for that up here, and I've also put a link for it in the description. So, just going to change the camera angle so we can get started with the marbling. So, I just got these inks off Amazon, and they are £12 for 12 so I mean a pound each isn't, isn't bad going. And all I'm going to do is start, I'm just going to put a drop on here, and then I'm going to light it. So you can see the reaction that has, and then we'll go over some of the other things that you can do to get different effects. So, to start with, I'll just go with a drop of the green. And what that's done, although it's still a little bit wet, it's at least baked that into the glass a little bit. Now, you can't see too much on this side, it just looks sort of like a green blob. But while that's still wet, it will still react with other alcohol ink. So if I then go with a different colour, go with this pink, and just plop this on here, you can instantly see that that's reacting with it. And then again, to get a further reaction, we can light that again and sort of bake that colour into it. Now, another thing we can use is rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. So I'll put a couple of drops of this on here. And then put some more of the ink in here. I mean, it has a really nice reaction anyway. You know, you're getting some nice marbling effects just from dropping it in and, and the way it curls with itself. But as it sort of lights up, you can see it's sort of spreading, mixing, and you're getting those really nice sort of, you know, almost like crude oil patterns the way that the way it's curdling. So. There, got some really nice patterns, sort of very unique and, and random, but you can gain some control over it, obviously, you know, where you put the drops, how much alcohol you use. So I'm just going to go ahead and carry on with these colours because this particular sign is for a lady who makes terrariums. So I want to kind of use the, the colours that are a lot more sort of organic and well, representing the kind of plants, I suppose. So starting with the green. Some of the and let's get that alcohol on there. I'll just put a little bit more yellow, a little bit of yellow down here. Just spreading that alcohol quite liberally over the areas. Nice lighter up. Now it's looking pretty random but pretty nice so far. Now I'm just gonna light up these areas. And I'm going to go with a few more drops of green. Just really kind of cover this in colour. And this is the finished result. Now you can also change the appearance of this depending on what you put behind it. So if I pop a piece of black behind it, that makes those colours really rich. But if I wanted something a bit more subtle, it's probably the wrong word, but um, 
not so sort of punchy. The white behind it, you know, gives it a completely different look. And then if you wanted this as an effect on a window or something that light's going to come through, it also looks really nice with, with the light coming through it. So it's a versatile technique. It's completely random, but you can just keep going and keep layering that up and putting new inks on, lighting it, put the alcohol on, lighting it again until you get the effect you like. But I've stopped here and I'm really happy with how this has come out. I'm going to go with the black in, in the background because I think it makes the colours a bit more vibrant. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon and please share it with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. So till next time, cheers.